Axel stood before me and asked me for the one prize he wanted more than anything. The strength to face his father who had bound him in this hellish contraption over 30 years ago. Why have you come back? I thought I'd gotten rid of you. Father, please, release me. You were always too slow, too damn stupid, and you still are. Gonna take ten more years on the wheels to set you right. You need to be taught a lesson. No, Father, I've learned my lesson. Let me show you what I've learned. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am a free man, and you are no longer my father. Axel disappeared into the Kansas fields. To this day, he has yet to be seen. Oh, I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. Captain Roberts stepped out of the car and stood before me. Last year, my brother won your contest, and you tricked him. You twisted his words and sent him spiraling into outer space. Now is my chance to save him. I am the winner, and as my prize, I demand that you let me see my brother. I will be glad to grant your wish, my dear. I will let you see your brother. No, wait! What I meant to say was... But it was too late. Her wish had been granted. Hey, sis, I'm over here. Oh my god, Buzz, I found you. I can't believe it, I found you! Guess Calypso tricked you too, huh, sis? Now we're both stuck out here. I don't think so. I've made some modifications to my patrol car. I planned on Calypso's little trick. These rocket boosters will carry us back. Next year we'll enter Twisted Metal again and get our ultimate revenge on that burnt-faced freak. It's me, Krista! I'm back! Krista, I thought you had died. I thought, in the car crash that almost killed me, you're alive! Property of the LAPD! I'm sorry, Father. They rebuilt me after the accident. They knew I could get close enough to you. They want to put a stop to all the violence you cause with your contest. Hold me, Daddy. I'm just a machine now, but I'm scared the explosion will hurt. I piloted my Zeppelin above the streets of New York, prepared to honor the victor with any prize requested. His name was Simon Whittlebone, a disgruntled man fired from his job as an architect for wanting to build a tower that stretched to the heavens. Greetings, Simon Whittlebone. I raise my glass to the one competitor who's made it all the way. Please, Calypso, help me to build my tower. Help me to build my dream. With a wave of my arms, the building of Whittlebone Tower had begun. Using his bulldozer, Whittlebone built into the night. The progress he made was remarkable. Within days, his tower was higher than any skyscraper ever created, and for a brief moment, he was satisfied. But then, his small mind, as small minds tend to do, became overwhelmed with the possibilities of losing his status. What if someone else one day built a taller and greater building? Whittlebone became enraged at the thought. I am the greatest! Do you hear me, world? You people are all tiny ups to me now! No one will ever be as high or as great as me! Damn it! I am Simon Whittlebone! I am God! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! To this day, you can still see the dent in the street made by the crashing body of Simon Whittlebone. I let it serve as a reminder that everyone has a chance of winning my contest. Even fools! I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. 
High atop the skyscrapers of New York, Mortimer pushed his car to the limit. It had been a long, deadly fight, and he was tired. Soon, he would retire into the depths for a long day's sleep, but for now, he had a mission to complete. He met with me, the creator of Twisted Metal. Mortimer, any prize you request is yours. <laughs> I am not here for a prize, Calypso. It is I who have a gift for you. A gift? For me? Let me see it. It was a trap. My fate had been sealed. These are the souls of the people who have died in your contest. The poor men and women who were simply walked in the streets of the world when your twisted metal competitors ran them down. They've hired me to take revenge on you. Within seconds, the souls of the dead had carried me away. Some say they dropped me in the busy streets of New York. Others think I'm still being carried on the night winds. Only one man knows the truth. And that man is me. I am Calypso! And I thank you for playing Twisted Metals! His body worn from 100 years of use, Captain Rogers struggled to stand before me. As his prize, he asked to be young again. He wanted a second chance at life. Please, Calypso, he begged. Give me the body of a 20-year-old. Congratulations, you now have the body of a 20-year-old. Maybe next year you will win Twisted Metal again and ask for the head of someone the same age. I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. The driver of Thumper stood before me. As his prize for winning Twisted Metal, he asked for his greatest wish. I want to rule the world, he told me. I want to be in charge of it all. I want to be king of the earth! I explained that as winner, his ultimate wish would be granted. Your wish is granted, driver! But the world had been reduced to rubble during the Twisted Metal Contest. There was nothing, <laughs> no one left to rule over. He was King of the Earth, but was all alone, and remains alone to this day, sitting on his throne, screaming out orders to lifeless subjects. <laughs> I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. Amanda Watts raced across the rooftops of New York, on her way to meet me, the one person who could make her ultimate dream come true. I need more speed, she told me. I want to go faster than anyone ever has. As my prize, give me the ability to drive at the speed of light. With a wave of my arms, I called upon my powers and granted Amanda Watts her ultimate wish. Faster than any person or object ever had, she broke through the barrier and found herself traveling through time. Hey, what time are you in? Where are you <laughs> Amanda Watts, the world's first time traveler, had gotten her wish. She was on top of the world. But no one stays on top forever. <laughs> Millions of years later, the only trace of Amanda Watts and her twisted metal victory would be the fossilized helmet on display in the National Museum of History. To the world of science, a helmet so old became an issue of worldwide debate, a great mystery. But to me, it was simply a cruel reminder of a woman obsessed with pushing the limits. I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. My name is Calypso. Exactly one year ago on Christmas Eve, my Twisted Metal contest destroyed the City of Angels. Down below, life has come to a halt as survivors struggle to stay alive. Calypso! Calypso, what have you done? What have you 
What have you done? With the city awash in flame, nothing left to destroy. I face a dilemma. Where will this year's Twisted Metal Contest take place? Fourteen of the world's best combat drivers have already been chosen, ready to battle to the death in hopes of becoming the victor and claiming whatever prize their brave hearts desire. But where will the contest be held? Oh, the world will be my battleground. Paris, Hong Kong, even Antarctica. There will be no safe zones this year, no places to hide. In the next 24 hours, the entire world will know my name. They will see my beautiful work of art firsthand. No one will be safe. I promise you that. Good luck, driver. Welcome to Twisted Metal. Calypso, you are coming with me! Minion, uh, it's so good to see you again. Uh, surely we can work out a deal? You stole my powers, Calypso, 11 years ago, stripping me of my birthright. Now it is time to pay the price! No! No, no! <laughs> Please, please, Minion! It's scary Let's down there! Let's go, little no, Calypso no, man! I wanna race my Time to rot please. in hell no, with your little sister! No, no. <laughs> Hammerhead raced across the rooftops of New York. Inside, Mike and Stu, the drivers of the truck, were salivating. Yeah! We're here, man! We made it, bro! Little beaches, babes, farm animals! Hawaiians in our grass, bro! Yes! What can I do for you, gentlemen? We won the game, right? So, you gotta give us our prize. Um, well, we want... No, no, dude. Say, demand. Okay, okay, okay. We demand that you give us the ability to fly! Certainly. Oh, cool! Congratulations! I have granted your wish. Have a great time in the friendly skies. Let's go! Wahoo! Hey, man, this can't be right. Whoa! Good thing these first class tickets are refundable. Oh, my God, I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. I'm here for my prize, Calypso. I need souls, if you must know. I'm a bit of a junkie, addicted to death. <laughs> Every moment I am without a soul, I get weaker. My job is too hard. People, they have a tendency of not dying fast enough! Please, Calypso, accelerate the process! Do whatever it takes to make them die faster! I did just that. Fulfilling my end of the bargain, I, the mighty Calypso, caused the world to become a battleground. All walks of men engaged in fierce combat. Few could call themselves safe as the death toll rose and the population fell dramatically, threatening to wipe out mankind in one horrific war. Within weeks, the Earth was reduced to chaos as the streets began to rise with the bodies of the dead. The souls came pouring in. Mr. Grimm was happy. The world was never the same after Grimm's horrific feast, but no meal can last forever. The human race was obliterated, and within time, Mr. Grimm was hungry again. Feed, please feed me! I need souls! <laughs> I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. The driver of Roadkill, a man named Marcus Kane, stepped out of his car and came face to face with me, the creator of Twisted Metal. They all call me crazy. They all say I'm insane. But I'm not. I know this isn't real. None of it is. I know it's all a dream. Please, Calypso, help me. Oh, Marcus. I always knew you would be the one to figure it out. I will grant your wish, but please, feel free to come back and visit us any time. Well, the rest of your friends will be here for quite a while. <laughs> Dr. Goldsmith to Proctology. 
Doctor, he's awake. Good God, son, you're alive. Oh, you were in a 25-car pile up on the freeway. It's a wonder you've come back to us at all. The rest are still in comas. These people, they all look so familiar. I've seen them before. Fought them before. But where? Well, I can't remember. Daddy, Daddy! Oh my God! My family! You're here! I'm back! Everything's gonna be all right! I promise! Sweet Tooth, the winner of the Twisted Metal Contest, was granted an audience with the founder of the competition. I had agreed to grant the winner any prize they requested. There would be no limits on price, size, or in this case, even reality. Sweet Tooth told me he wanted to live out his greatest fantasy. To become a bug in a tiny little garden out in the country. It would be a life of relaxation and love, a life of peace. A final escape from his madness. The night sky exploded with light. And when the light faded, Sweet Tooth had gotten his wish. For the rest of his days, he enjoyed his new life in the garden, away from all those who would tell him he was crazy. The other insects were not fans of their new neighbor, for he had a tendency to kill them. Oh, but Sweet Tooth was happy, and whenever he got lonely for human companionship, or for human flesh, all he had to do was look up and dream of the day when he would crawl out of the garden and back into the world of man. Oh, I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal. Ken Masters stepped out of his car and stood before me. He had waited his whole life for this meeting. A chance to make his ultimate dream come true. I'm an actor, and I'm really, really good. And I've been struggling, searching for my big break for over six weeks. Please, Calypso, you've got to make me famous. Make it so the entire world knows my face. Your wish is granted. Hey, don't touch the face. <laughs> nice oh, oh, I can Come see all of them now. <laughs> when Ken first woke up, he thought he'd been dreaming. But then he looked around and realized he was thousands of feet above New York City. And his face felt odd. The driver of Spectre had gotten his wish. Now the entire world knew Ken's face. And to tell you the truth, I rather like seeing his face every day. It's a nice face. I do not regret what I did. <laughs> I am Calypso, and I thank you for playing Twisted Metal.